Hey everybody, what's going on? Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We are on location in Arroyo Grande, California, checking out the Premier Builders Guild. If you're a gearhead like we are and you love gear, this is a cool place to go. There are a lot of talented people putting together some neat stuff here. Uh, one of the first people I want to introduce you to is Gene Baker. Mean Gene, as they say. How are you, sir? I'm doing just fine. How are you doing? Good, good. I'm surrounded by gear, so uh, always good. Hey, I wanted to ask you about Premier Builders Guild, mm -hmm. what you do here. Uh, you, you've got a history as a luthier. You've made some pretty neat guitars for some pretty neat people. But um, tell me how that all comes together in this building. So basically what's happening is we kind of start out with all the builders will send me various samples from raw wood parts to drawings you'll see uh, scattered around the room. We'll even get real basic prototype models, like you'll see a slew of them down here on the walls. Some of these were sent to us by the builders, others are like our, our original prototypes when we're testing all the, the CNC programming and stuff like that, so we make sure we get all the bugs out. The actual designer will check out and inspect our product, he'll sign off, uh, make any changes he wants to do, and then once all those revisions are dialed in, we go into production. What Premier Builders Guild means is it's a guild of what we think the most creative guys out there are and we bring them all together and basically under the guise of Gene Baker who's master builder who we wouldn't be able to do this without Gene um, we're able to produce our instruments to their specifications while at the same time give them total support of a real business which is advertising marketing branding um, you know strategy development, business development, growth, um, distribution. It gives them time to be creative, make new models. Um, it gives them time to really focus on their craft. And all of our builders still do uh, custom models on their own um, outside of the PBG shop. But inside this shop, we're making models for all these builders to their exact specifications. I saw you at a gig last night. You laid down some uh, Jimmy Page riffs. I, I got to say, they were legit, man. You, oh, you can play, you. dude. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know any of Gene's songs, but I, I knew everybody knows rock and roll, so <laughs> it was fun. Well, tell me about what it means to you to be a luthier and to be a part of the Premier Builders Guild and, you know, how this works for you. Well, it's it's really it's surreal and it's wonderful. Until this until this arrangement, I made every single part, uh, bodies, necks, inlays, finish on every single one of my guitars, and to have these guys uh, do it exactly the way I do it, in fact, some ways better. <laughs> it's very very cool. It's so cool. I mean, somebody is, who has had such a storied career as Gene and Gil, interested in making my stuff. To exactly the way I want. It's, it's really amazing. What do you want people to know about your guitars, your designs? Well, uh, mostly my main guitar that I'm building is like, a, you know, it's mimicking like a 59 Les Paul very much. And uh, right now here we are doing two new models, one junior model and one special model. Very simple guitars with uh, still very high quality build and everything and um, yeah we just want to to make some different angle to to the concept that I'm already making. Roger tell me about uh, what it's like to do this in the way you, that you are now with Premier Builders Guild. You've made guitars for a long time it's a very different way of going about it isn't it? Yeah it, it's it's left me kind of speechless partly because uh, I mean they they approach it a very different way do I do um, they, they do things in a different order, basically, but as far as I can see, you know, as long as the end result comes out the way I like it, which it does seem to be doing, um, then I approve of what they're doing. You know, I think it's, it's very good. Uh, it's, it's interesting for, a, you know, a one-person shop like me who does everything by hand, the very slow way, to see the machine do what I do by hand and, and actually still achieve the same result. Uh, that's pretty good, you know, it's really encouraging. Uh, I, I got to ask you real quick. So Blackie was under your bed for how long? That's <laughs> my bed. I, I had it in my workshop for a while on pain of death. Um, <laughs> if if I, I took it home with me every night because uh, you know well, you don't leave that sitting in the workshop. Um, it was kind of interesting to have that one there. Uh, scary stuff though. This is my new model. We've been really thoughtful about the. No, I'm just kidding. This is a. Tell me about your involvement. 
we became involved when uh, it, it solves a problem for a, a small builder like myself who, um, you know, we are backlogged on the on the custom side and we wanted to be able to offer a, you know, basically a no weight. Someone can go into a guitar store, play a Schroeder guitar to my specs and go home with the guitar that day instead of having to wait, you know, upwards of, you know, a year, 18 months for a custom build. And so we pared down sort of uh, our custom models to a, a set of specs that really work for, you know, 90% of guys, hopefully 100% of guys can go in and grab one of these and they could play it at a gig that night. I've got a lot to learn from these guys. They're experts and to, uh, to have our standard models being built by experts like Gene Baker and, and Gil Vasquez is just unbelievable. And then to be able to have the camaraderie with the other builders and learn from what they're doing. All right, Dennis Fano, how are you, sir? Doing great. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Very good, thanks. Uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at a prototype for the JM6 um, based on a Jazzmaster design. Uh, 25 and a half inch scale. This uh, is available in alder, swamp ash, or mahogany, uh, maple neck, or mahogany neck. Uh, we're using Madagascar rosewood, really beautiful stuff. Um, that's our main wood, but it's also available with a maple fingerboard. This has uh, two P90s, Fralin P90s, standard, uh, three way toggle on the upper bout, volume, tone styler. I'm going for an authentic distressing when I'm doing my you know my work and uh, uh, the one thing I have working for me is that I'm not doing uh, exact replicas so I don't really have to be held to any sort of standards it sort of frees me up to do exactly what I want to do with each individual piece I mean the idea is to just try to make it as authentic and 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 real as as you know possible and make it comfortable you know so I've got Gil Vasquez with me here. Gil, how you doing, man? Doing well, thank you. Good, good thank to you. see you. You are the production manager here. Yes, I am. Tell me about what we're looking at. Well, right now you're, you're at Premier Builders Guild shop. Uh, this is where all the manufacturing is done. There's a lot of myths about the CNC, and honestly, uh, CNC is very much needed nowadays. It, primarily, it is to help us with consistency. It keeps the product very consistent. A lot of handwork is still done to these. You're watching it carve a neck right now. It gets the neck shape close for us. But at the same time, there's still a lot of uh, hand shaping that's going to go into that neck. All our tooling is specific per model. Well, this, this happens to be a body uh, uh, plate that we put on the machine. And uh, basically, it holds down by vacuum and uh, helps, us, helps us to cut our bodies on the machine. So we have two things going on here. We have to worry about our builders and making them happy and also, at the same note, our customers. The neck jig right here that um, Gene is coming out, obviously, they're both for Giffen's. Uh, another one of our, our great master builders, uh, part of the guild, and uh, you know, again, uh, this is a multi. It actually does three stages on here. It'll carve, headstock inlay, and also uh, the binding channel. In production now is uh, some some of our Giffins that we're actually making here, and uh, he tells me that he's happy with them, so that makes me very happy <laughs> when I hear that kind of stuff. Also, some Giffins, and uh, th these are being bound today. Uh, these are already bound, they're going to be sanded, the next will be glued into these, and uh, then they'll get fretted, and uh, basically the next step would be actually sanding and paint. Step into our booth, basically you can see uh, once again uh, a few different uh, of our models that we're making here, from a Valiant to a B3 to some of uh, Sol's dual glides. Uh, the red one is actually a, a test paint, we're trying uh, some new material, and we always make sure, we just don't go into using the material. Currently we're using a WLS system. We're also looking at a custom, uh, custom color system. And, uh, but before we actually get, start using it, we have to test it. We have to make sure it goes through, uh, you know, it doesn't check. There's no issues with the paint at all. This is basically one of our, our turnstiles. This is basically how the guitars are sprayed. Um, they rotate on this so he can get every aspect of the guitar, every part of it. And, uh, you know, it's just a great system that we have here. Uh, after Justin uh, uh, sets it up and uh, strings it up, uh, we basically all look it over and then it goes to Gene. Gene plays it, uh, he'll sign it, put the serial numbers on it, and I get ready to ship it. And out the door she go. What are we looking at here, man? This is a Schroeder chopper here. And what are you doing? I'm, right now I'm detailing the board, getting ready to assemble it, and just kind of going through all the little checks, making sure everything looks nice. and 
getting ready to remount all the holes and put it together. What's on that checklist? Uh, basically looking over the body and uh, making sure that the finish looks really nice, looking over the frets. Uh, basically just checking everything to make sure it's right because this is kind of the end of the line. So if anything needs to get fixed, I need to find it now and send it back to the boys in the shop. Another cat I want to introduce you to, Jimmy Lovingood. Jimmy, how are you, sir? Good. How are you, man? Good. Good to see you. Tell me, what do you do for Premier Builders Guild? Uh, well, I'm vice president of sales. I take care of, take care of our dealers, you know, and make sure they get what they need, when they need it, and what they want, really. And what they want is cool gear, yeah. you know, and we have that. I got to let you guys in on this. LA Inc., you were just on. Yeah. You got to show us the ink. You were on the same episode with Phil Collin, and uh, this is the piece uh, that the, is on the episode. Yeah, it sure is. It's, uh, you know, um, Corey Miller on LA Inc. actually did my original tattoo, this rose up here, 18 years ago. And I rode into the show and wanted to do a tribute to my mom. And uh, there it is. And it aired last night here at our uh, summit in uh, Rio Grande here. So it was great. Very cool. What do you want people to know about Premier Builders Guild? We have the best builders around. And I'm not saying there's not other great builders out there, but there, we just have such a good core group of builders that make great product and just want to work together as well. I mean, at our summit here, we're calling this our summit, we had one of our dealers make the comment that, look, there's five builders sitting together. I'm surprised there's no bloodshed yet. You know, And we all laughed about it, but they get along, they collaborate. And really, we're all in this to do this to do with one goal in mind, and that's to make the best product possible for our customers. All right. If people want to find out more, where can they go online? Uh, well, then go to our website www.premierbuildersguild.com, um, and you can find all our dealers on there, all the gear, all the product, everything's there. All right. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.